His Excellency Mr. Dennis Francis, President of the General Assembly. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I'm truly honored to address you today as we commemorate the second International Day of Women in Diplomacy. However, this day is not just a celebration. It emphasizes the importance of including women in peace, building processes, negotiations, and international governance. Excellencies, 2024 marks the halfway point of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, which provides a comprehensive framework to address our most pressing global challenges, with Goal 5 on gender equality at its core. The importance of SDG 5 and of women's political participation has never been clearer. It is critical not only because women are significantly underrepresented in decision making, but also because the future of democracy and achievement of peaceful societies depend upon it. As we know, the highest political offices are predominantly held by men. Currently, women serve as heads of state and or government in only 26 countries. At the ministerial level, foreign affairs portfolios are overwhelmingly held by, by men, with women holding just 22% of these portfolios. One of the root causes of this situation is the lack of political will to transition from entrenched patriarchal systems reinforced by outdated social norms to inclusive decision making. Yet there is hope. The election of the first female president in Mexico in 200 years is a landmark event joining the current 26 female heads of state or government. And Rwanda's remarkable achievement as the first country in the world with a 61% female majority in parliament are powerful examples of progress and of hope. Friends, we cannot achieve our common goals if we leave half of humanity behind. Research shows us that when women are involved in peace processes, the likelihood of reaching sustainable agreement increases and the outcomes are more durable and inclusive. We must promote policies that encourage women's participation in political decision-making processes. Looking ahead to the Summit of the Future in September and the 30th anniversary of the Beijing Declaration and Platform for Action in 2025, we have a once-in-a-generation opportunity to reaffirm our unwavering commitment to inclusive and equitable diplomacy. Let us chart a bold course for the future, one that ensures that the voices of women and girls are central to all discussions and decisions. Let us reaffirm our commitment and accelerate action to ensure the meaningful and equitable political participation of women and girls and pave the way towards a more inclusive and sustainable world where no one is left behind. Thank you.